ってねー。Hey, so today we are opening one of the toys that I've been wanting to get for quite some time now. This is the Kruv sifter. So, what is actually a sifter?、Uh, remember my episode about this one, about this guy right here? Yeah? This sifts out、um, fine particles, right? But the problem is, the problem with this sifter is it only has one、uh, sieve. So, this, this sifter right here, it's called a sieve. It only has one size, right? And you can't control which goes through, right? So, the Kruv sifter, this is actually a professional,、um, this is actually a professional equipment for. Competitions for roasters, even for、um, coffee producers,、um, because they have different sieves, different sized sieves that you can attach to two different levels. Actually, three, three different levels. Okay, so let's open this. So, when you open the box, yeah, you will get the sifter here. Here is the sifter.、Um, it is made out of aluminum. And, and then the cover is bamboo. This is processed bamboo. But it is solid.、Huh? It's, very, it's, it's actually really nice. Okay. So when you open the sifter itself, you get the three levels. So this is the first level. And then the second level under. And then this one catches the third level. Yeah, so you put it like that. And then, so the way, the way this works is you open the top and then put, put your coffee here. Then. Just shake it. Okay, what happens is so for the first level, you have a different sized sieve, right? So this right here,、um, I've already attached an 800, an 800 micron sieve. So this will hold 800 microns and above, like the big boulders, right? And then on the second level, I've put 300 micron sieve. So, this second level will filter out, this will sift,、um, this will sift out 300 microns and below, smaller. So, after sifting out the 300 microns and below, the smaller ones, it will hold 300 microns up to 800 because we, we've already put the 800 here, right? So, why, why, do you, why do you need this? So, the problem with, the problem with、um, most grinders is the consistency, right? So, if your grinder is not consistent enough, you will get, it will be hard for you to dial in your settings to get, to get the sweet spot. Does that make sense? Because, The smaller particles extract much faster, and then the bigger ones extract、um, much slower. So, and at the same time, the smaller particles can be extracted with a low temperature while the bigger particles need, need higher temperatures for you to extract them very well. Right. So, what the c r o v e does is It sifts out or it separates different sized particles for you to be able to refine your coffee.、Um, I know you're not gonna be, you don't actually, you don't, you don't really want to do this on, your, on a daily basis for your daily coffee, right? 
So, why do you need this? Why, 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 what is the purpose of this? So, for, for someone like me who reviews a lot of different grinders, a lot of different coffee, um, this will be very helpful when I review or compare two different grinders or a lot of different grinders so that I can see clearly, um, I can objectively look at the particle distribution of a specific grinder as compared to another, right? So, um, Tetsukasuya actually used this when he compared EK, Comandante, and the Time More, even the Daiso grinder, the Daiso ceramic grinder. Um, he used this so that he could compare the micro fine particles and the big boulders, right? So, um, going back, so the different, the different levels, so this part right here, you can actually remove this. And you can remove this part and then replace it with a bigger one. So the variant that I exactly ordered is the sifter base, which came with five different micron sizes. Um, so the other sizes are 500 microns, 1,100 microns, and 1,400 microns. So um, depending on the grind size that you want to, depending on the grind size that you want to test, you can actually remove that part and then get a bigger one, right? So let's say, for example, we are um, sifting out for a cold brew. So if you want to sift out particles for a cold brew, maybe you can put in the 1,400 microns, which is really big. Yeah, the, re the holes are really big. All right. So, so that is the Groove Sifter. Together with the sifter, this package came with a Bruler. So a Bruler is a funny name for a ruler for your grind. So it's a Bruler. Get it? <laughs> So this is the ruler, right? So the ruler has different holes for different micron sizes. So you can measure exactly your grind size. It even has a different size of um, this holes are for your beans, right? And then what else? There is a conversion table for temperature at the back. And then there is your normal um, metric measurement. Like your centimeter, centimeter measurement. This is actually a great tool. You can actually, um, you can actually purchase this alone. Like this one only. Right, what else? So it also came with, I don't know what this is. It also came with, oh, it's a grind size reference. That is magnetized, by the way. Look at the back here. So you can put this on your, um, your, your fridge, I don't, I don't think I have something to... So you can actually put this on any surface that is metal. So you can... So you have a grind size chart handy every time. Wow, this is nice. What else? Uh, oh, we have a sticker! Uh, a really nice sticker. All right. So, let me just put this back in for now. I have prepared coffee grounds. I've prepared coffee grounds right here. And, and 
I'm going to demonstrate how you're gonna use the Groove Sifter. Okay, so you just open the top lid. Then remember what this um, remember what this looks like, all right? Then you put your coffee here. Okay. Now we're going to cover and then you're going to shake. So what what the crew sifter is doing right now, it it's it is separ it is separating all the different particle sizes that is within your um, coffee grounds. All right, I think that's enough. So when you open the lid, here is your intended. Here is your intended grind size. There. And then you have here the middle ones. Right? And then here is your micro fine particles. There is barely anything there. This is I used the commandante to grind this, by the way. So there is barely anything there. This is 300 microns and below. All right. Let me let me try and do it one more time. See if we can um, see if we can put more. Let's see if we can get more. Okay. Oh, all right. So we have more microfine particles now, but still a very low number of it. Yeah, you see that? Okay, and then. Here is your middle part. This is your middle, much smaller boulders. Yeah. And then this is the bigger ones. So you see how, how loose it is? It falls down on its own. So it's rolling down as I incline the sifter. Yeah. So that is how, how clean it is right now. So this is going to be a very useful tool for me for when I compare like two different grinders and for when I compare like a different brew technique. So what if we remove the microfine particles? What will that? Because if you haven't seen the video I made with this sifter, I will link it up right here. I did something with this. Um, so I made a coffee after sifting out the fine particles from this size. It's quite big. It's quite big, really. So after doing that, I lost, um, I lost the sweetness or the body of the coffee. So with the Crew Sifter, I will be actually able to, to dictate which sizes I'm gonna use because it's not removing like, because you, you get two different levels. Oh, yeah, two different levels of um, sifting. So. You can either remove the middle part and then use the microfine particles or you can use the 
middle part and the microfine particles and not use the boulders, right? Right? Can you imagine the can you imagine the possibilities that we can do with this groove sifter? Yeah, so I'm really excited to play with it. Yeah. So from now I will be doing maybe I will be doing videos of the compares of the grinder comparisons again one more time using the groove sifter. Yeah, so watch out for that. And for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!